Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only and is all allegedly. Music producer, Rodney Jones Jr., aka Lil Rod is suing Sean P. Diddy Combs. He's accusing him of doing things that were not legal, including hex with the H changed to an S assault. Mr. Jones is alleging he was touched in his no-no spot or threatened to be touched. This was while they worked on the Love album, Jones says Diddy's son, Justin Dior Combs and some staff working with Diddy, were involved in some stuff that had to do with hex with an S trafficking. Jones says he and Diddy were working together on the album from September 20, 22 until November of 23, they would produce nine songs. He claims he was not paid for 13 months, thousands of hours, Jones is suing for $30 million. He wants a jury trial against Diddy, his son, and many more is shown in the document. Diddy says quote, Lil Red is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit looking for an underserved payday, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen, it's nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines, unquote. He also said we have overwhelming indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies, our attempts to share this with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored, Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court, and take all appropriate action against those who make them. This is all from USA Today, who received a response from lawyer Blackburn, he said, litigation should never be the first option for a dispute, we filed because of the refusal to negotiate on the other side. Diddy faces other lawsuits, one accuser alleges Diddy and an associate did something to her when she was 17 years old. Another was his ex-girlfriend, singer Cassie, she accused him of several bad things, in that suit, Diddy settled a day after for an undisclosed amount. Another woman named Joy Dickerson Neal filed a lawsuit saying she was drugged, abused and was a victim of revenge porn. Back to the Lil Rod lawsuit, he says Diddy didn't stop Cuba Gooding Jr. from touching his body parts, he says he has photos and screenshots to show the courts as evidence. Jones says there was illegal substances being used, there was alcohol being laced and given to the woman and minor girls, the hex with an S worker's age was never checked, Mr. Jones says while living with Diddy he would get groped and touched without him wanting it, Diddy would touch his backside, he said he would use physical force. He promised him he would get a Grammy for the Love album, he said he would get producer of the year, he offered him $250,000 so he can buy the musical instruments he wanted, he also promised him real estate. Jones says he would promise him everything then turn around and start threatening to hurt him, Diddy told him he would eat his face, he said he would unalived his own mother. That's just a little of what's going on, there's so much more involving many people going years back, I thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, see you soon, Billy Blanco.